one more chapter with the Posca Mopper uh, wide markers. Shake it up. And one thing I forgot to do on the earlier videos was to squeeze the markers while applying them. So I'm going to do that now. So here is the wide sponge tip. So now squeezing a bit to get more paint flow coming through there. Squeezing ever so slightly. That's a pretty good line. Not squeezing sort of produces this thin butt. Squeezing right here. Whoa! That's too much, see? But, um, and I did have some bleed through problem, but I have uh, a stack of paper here, so it will be less of an issue, I believe, smearing because it was wet there, but interesting to note. And I usually clean off the brush. I usually clean off the brush um, or the tips after using them whatever type of paint marker I'm using. So here is the black. And going across... Oh, wait a minute. This is not black. It's white. I forgot. So that's the straight line without pumping. But pumping, wow, thick. Immediately thick line. And obviously you want to control the amount of hand pumping uh, or squeezing that you use. There. I guess uh, over time you will get more of a, a sense of control. I'm liking this a lot better since I started using that technique, which I just... I mean, different markers require... Obviously, everyone has its own little personality and uh, profile. But uh, this is coming across much better now that I decided to um, use a little bit of a squeeze to uh, improve the paint flow. I'm not going to go across that line when it is wet, even though I could, just because um, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to uh, mix the colors on the tip of the sponge which you can do, you can intentionally do, but you may or may not want to actually do that. So, and then just for the, just for the, the test of it, I'll go across this thin paper and just see how, how, uh, trans, how much the ink goes through it. So here's a standard line without any pumping gesture at all. And then here is pumping to get a, a good flow. Wow, look how thick and wet that is. And I'm sure, I'm sure it's just going to go right through this. Actually, all right, well, there's a little bit, but uh, it is less bleed through than you would expect. So that is kind of good, even though, I don't know, you could almost say this is a wasteful use of ink here, or uh, paint, just because I have put so much of it down there, creatively dripping some. And obviously, uh, the mop style marker is associated uh, with graffiti art and uh, it is great to do large thick lines but if you're working on smaller sort of artwork like I'm often doing here then the uh, the Posca mopper can be the large area marker for you putting down the large areas of color and then I would come back and add to that with my other uh, fine point markers. Obviously the Posca standard are these uh, Sharpie um, creative markers or even 
You can even use ink markers over the lighter colors, just obviously knowing that it will be additive blending with those ink markers instead of um, Posca style uh, paint ink or whatever it is, is fairly opaque. So you can get, you can uh, do your designs on darker paper and it still works. Or other surfaces. Little bit of green comparison. Interesting mixing there. I'll just mix this. Why not? We'll see how it goes. Do I dare to put this through the thick of it? Sure. Wow. Okay, well, that was like going through a deep pool, a deep ocean of yellow. Interesting, but the two formulas are slightly uh, pushing, separating, and that could be good if you're working on a fast uh, graffiti masterpiece or something like that. 